so here we're doing our preliminaries after which we'll move to change our paper orientation to landscape we are then going to the view tab and we are going to select grid lines we then go to our menu bar we go to insert and we're looking for shapes so here we're going to look for the shape that matches whatever we're preparing we select that shape we locate the center of our page and that is where we're going to draw our first shape an organization chart or a flow chart can be typed in portrait orientation but for this one we're using landscape so here we're selecting the shape we have changed the outline and the fill to a white with black line then we are going to copy to make it easier so we copy open our clipboard where we'll have the same shape so if we need to use this shape again we simply go over to our clipboard and we select so each time that we add a text to our shape we need to change our font style and our font size as by default they are set at calibre and 11 so we need to go back each time that we insert a shape and change the style the size and the line spacing so now we're going to use a line to connect our shapes so by default the color of the line is in blue so we need to remember that we need to format this and change it to black So now we're back to inserting shapes and the shape that we're going to use for this one is going to be used right across. So we're back to our menu bar, we're back to insert and we are selecting the shape that we want. So after we're through editing the shape that we are about to use, then to make it easier we are going to copy that to the clipboard and then for each shape going across we simply go to the clipboard and select. So this will have the shapes being the same size. If it needs to be tweaked a little, then we go ahead and tweak it. So we're right clicking, we're adding text, we go ahead and type and this is what we're going to do right across. When we get to the bottom layer, we are going to use the same shape. So we simply go over to the clipboard, select the shape, insert our line and then we are through. So here we're inserting a line that was on the clipboard. We are again inserting the shape that we previously copied. We're lining them up to ensure that they are even. So basically after you have done this step, anything that comes after is basically repeated. So you are good to go.
to taking off our grid lines and here we're going to view to ensure that our lines have not spilled over onto any other line that they are straight that our boxes are all the same size and that our organizational chart is centered